An international team of astronomers and astrophysicists analyzing data from the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered that the light from one of the earliest known galaxies is due to ongoing bursts of star formation. In this cosmic exploration, we delve into the groundbreaking discovery of two new Jade's galaxies, among the most distant ever observed. This video will uncover the secrets these galaxies reveal about the universe's infancy, their unexpected features, and the profound implications they hold for cosmology and our understanding of cosmic origins. The James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos with its discovery of two of the earliest and most distant galaxies ever observed. Their names start with jades. These galaxies were found approximately 300 million years after the Big Bang. They give us a unique look into the universe's early days. This discovery extends our cosmic reach by 40%, pushing the boundaries of what we previously thought possible within the first 18 months of Webb's operation. We discussed these galaxies before, and let's explore what the new research holds for us. When Webb first detected these galaxies, the excitement among astronomers was unexplainable. They were identified in a region near the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, an area known for its dense concentration of ancient galaxies. The data from Webb's NIRSPEC instrument, which captures high-quality spectra, revealed ultraviolet continua with prominent Lyman breaks, but no detected emission lines. This spectral signature confirmed the galaxy's high redshift and extreme age. The journey to this discovery wasn't straightforward. Initially, the JADES team had to ensure that the galaxies weren't merely neighbors to a foreground galaxy. These images, combined with specialized filters to isolate early galaxies, confirmed the extreme distances of the two JADES galaxies. One of the most surprising aspects of the Jade's 14-0 galaxy is its size and brightness. Although it's one of the oldest galaxies we know, spanning over 1,600 light years across, it shines as brightly as much younger galaxies. This intense brightness comes from a large number of young stars, rather than from matter falling into a supermassive black hole, which is common in many bright galaxies. This finding is quite surprising because most of the brightest galaxies we observe have their luminosity powered by a central black hole, which creates a quasar. However, in Jade's 14-0, the light primarily comes from ongoing star formation. This suggests that there's a highly active and rapid process of new stars being born in this ancient galaxy. It highlights a dynamic period of stellar creation that occurred much earlier in the universe's history than previously thought. Its rapid formation is also evident from its chemical composition. The presence of heavy elements such as oxygen indicates that several generations of stars have already formed and exploded as supernovae, enriching the galaxy with these elements. The high levels of dust and heavy elements in it provide further surprises. Typically, heavy elements like oxygen are formed in the cores of stars and spread through the galaxy by supernovae which suggest an unexpectedly rapid progression of stellar life cycles within this galaxy. So, how did such a galaxy like Jade's 14-0 form in the early universe without a black hole? After the Big Bang, the universe was filled with a hot, dense plasma of particles. As it expanded and cooled, these particles began to combine under gravity. The first stars, known as Population 3 stars, formed from primordial gas composed mostly of hydrogen and helium. These massive, short-lived stars enriched the surrounding gas with heavier elements through their supernovae, facilitating the formation of subsequent generations of stars. Small clumps of dark matter and gas merged to form the first protogalaxies, which continued to merge and grow into larger galaxies. Dark matter played a crucial role by providing the gravitational scaffolding around which galaxies could form. Without dark matter, the gas would not have been able to collapse efficiently to form stars and galaxies. The energy released by the first stars and supernovae regulated star formation by heating the surrounding gas and preventing it from collapsing too quickly, shaping the early galaxies. So, 
The existence of large luminous galaxies like Jade's 14-0 at such an early point in the universe's history contradicts many predictions made by existing cosmological models. These models did not anticipate that such massive and mature galaxies could exist so soon after the Big Bang, suggesting that our understanding of cosmic evolution, particularly the processes of galaxy formation and maturation, needs updating. These insights not only enhance our understanding of how galaxies like Jade's 14-0 could have formed, but also expand the scope of astrobiology. Knowing the chemical composition and history of early galaxies aids in the search for biosignatures, helping scientists target specific regions and types of stars more likely to have life-supporting conditions. Additionally, the concept of habitable zones can be extended to a cosmic scale. This knowledge broadens the potential for discovering life and habitable conditions beyond our solar system. In summary, the discovery of these two Jade's galaxies represents a significant milestone in our quest to understand the early universe. These galaxies provide valuable insights into the processes that shape the cosmos and challenge our existing models of galaxy formation and evolution. As we continue to explore the universe with advanced instruments like the web, we can expect to uncover more surprises and deepen our understanding of the cosmic dawn. Thank you for joining me on this incredible journey through the depths of time and space. Remember, each discovery in the cosmos brings us closer to understanding the vast, mysterious universe we call home.